Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about uh, magic cards worth their weight in gold. Uh, apparently, and this might be a wrong calculation, I didn't calculate this myself, but apparently a $5 magic card is literally worth its weight in gold to pretty much any, even cards in standard, right? But when you take a look at like dual lands, you take a look at um, lion's eye diamonds, they are worth multiples of their cost in gold, which is surprising. It's kind of like we're playing with gold when we're playing. I mean, it's a strange concept, right? That somebody's EDH stack can be worth $5,000. And there's this guy at my locals who has an EDH stack. It is all foiled out. I'm sure he has. he's getting the inventions right now. It's worth $5,000. Uh, the share amount of money that goes into Magic the Gathering, into our hobby, is sometimes insane over what literally is still cardboard. Now you might say, oh, well, money is just paper, money is just paper, and the cardboard can, in this case, can be exchanged pretty readily for actual money paper. But uh, it's still crazy to think about the hobby in general, that these little pieces of cardboard can uh, get so expensive and so valuable and people are just carrying them like it's you know a Nintendo 3DS. Obviously a Nintendo 3DS is nice but it's not worth um, its weight in gold. So it's a it's a concept that <clears throat> for the most part I find amazing that people will take a hundred thousand dollars of cards into a convention, into an expedition, into uh, an expo. I keep thinking about expeditions, I don't know why. And it's $100,000 of money. Would you take a backpack and put $100,000 of cash in your backpack and just walk around with it? Probably not. Uh, I think uh, PAX East and all those things, I mean there's so many people there and there's professionally trained people who steal magic cards now. It is a business. It is a business model that some um, people have done. And these are not just randoms who don't really know what Magic the Gathering is. These are Magic the Gathering players themselves. Uh, when I think of Pat's games in uh, Austin being broken in, that was kind of, I mean, there's security cameras, like, and they still broke in. They, there was a lock and they still broke in. There was uh, so many just random factors that would prevent someone from wanting to break in, but these two guys just broke in. And, and the way they got caught was they were trying to sell it of buy list on Cartinum. These are not, again, some random people who are stealing some random stuff. They are targeting people who have high value assets. And again, it's you gotta treat your magic cards like cash because they are cash. Like, you gotta treat them like gold because instead of like, imagine carrying a backpack of gold to PAX East, no one would do that, right? But some of your magic cards, especially if you have dual lands, power nine, they're, they're way more valuable than gold per ounce. So just be very, very careful about um, carrying your cards. Even at local FNMs, I'll see a guy with a $10,000 collection and I don't know why he's bringing his collection every day because there's no one to trade for that. He's like, oh yeah, I'm looking for a beta tropical island. I was like, you're, you're like FNM. Like literally like people's decks are like $100 at most at this place because uh, it's so super casual and uh, I don't get that. It's uh, very surprising and very interesting to me that people don't treat magic cards like money although or they don't treat, treat magic cards like gold although they are more valuable than gold. You literally would not take a hundred thousand dollars in cash with you to like a GP but people take hundreds of thousand dollars of cash with them in magic cards to a GP which it's very crazy because they could easily exchange it at the same GP for money. Anyway, be careful guys. Bye.